You can change your story. Your life is a masterpiece waiting to be discovered. Yeah. Heroes and villains are the same. However, they process their pain differently. You can get to the root of your problems, all these motivating ideas and much more from our beautiful and wonderful and brilliant guest, <laughs> Kirsten Lee, who is with us today all the way from Los Angeles, California, the recovery coach, the inspirational speaker, the best-selling author, and the creator of Change Your Story Workshop. Yeah. Hi, everyone. I'm Natalie Restokian, and I'm so happy to have Kirsten Lee and all our wonderful watchers, the viewers. I mean, you're a great audience. Thank you. And uh, this is the first episode of my show, You Can Do It. And Kirsten Lee, the coach, is with us. I'm Hello, honored Kirsten. to be here. Thank you so much. Very exciting. Thank you, Kirsten. How are you doing today? I am excellent. I'm very excited to be here with you and I look forward to sharing some information um, that can help people change their story. Yeah, it's very interesting because a lot of people, they don't know a lot about coaches. And the first question I want to ask you is about, you know, sometimes we are stuck in a place in our life that we cannot break free from uh, our addictions and uh, we have bad habits and Faulty, faulty mindset and mm -hmm. we don't know how to live our life to reach the highest potential in our lives and we have to break free from these controlling issues so how can we do it as a coach what do you advise <laughs> <laughs> well it is a lot of hard work but you know i broke free from a decade of addictions which included almost dying three times of alcohol poisoning, yet I still drink 20 beers a day kind of addiction. Mm -hmm. So if I can do that, then anyone can do it. But it is all about, you know, retraining our brain and believing that it is possible. And I listen to your story and I just think, does Kristen think that she is in some way unique or, <laughs> or stronger than anybody else because like breaking oh. through and oh, being absolutely of course you know absolutely <laughs> no yes i'm unique so are you and so is everyone watching you know um our life is a masterpiece you know waiting to be discovered but a lot of times that masterpiece is underneath a lot of myths um, and it's hard for us to believe um, because life can take a lot of life out of us. And so we have to, um, we all have to, you know, get the help we need and do the work that it takes to find that masterpiece and to break free from what's been breaking you so you can truly become everything you were created to be. You know, we weren't meant to live in a life of recovery. We were meant to live in a life of freedom. We weren't meant to live in a life of bondage. We were meant to live a life of, you know, exceptional greatness. And you said something earlier about heroes and villains. Um, you, it, it was your quote, and I was just promoting it. I <laughs> love it. I love it. Well, I'm a writer, and so, and I also have a background in acting. So I used everything I learned there to change my story. And, you know, if you look at heroes and villains, they have a lot of the same characteristics. They're both leaders. Um, they're usually charismatic. They both fight for causes they believe in. They both, you know, gone through hardships, but the difference is the way they process pain. You know, villains um, and victims have internalized that pain. They have let the regrets, the bitterness, and the anger, you know, take over. Where heroes allow that greatness um, to take over. Wow. And, so, and so, you know, I played the villain in my own life and the victim for far too long. And we were all created to be the heroes. So I help people discover or rediscover the fighter, the dreamer, um, the, that, that masterpiece that lives inside them. It's very interesting what you're saying, but I cannot stop thinking about how did you get all this energy and the strength to control and 
to renew your mind in a way. I mean, you you like yourself to have a breakthrough. How did that happen? Well, it began um, it began with a dream, um, a God dream actually. You saw me uh, your dream. <laughs> Yes, I'll share a little bit of it with you. I had like tossed and turned for hours before falling into this really deep sleep. And then I heard this voice saying, you're the most positive person, but you've got to stop doing what you're doing so I can use you. The plan I have for you is wilder than your imagination. And you know this, but you've chosen to hide, you've been hurt and you've chosen to hide and cry and you're not truly living. It's like, get up one more time and this time do it with me. You know, let me help you. You know, you're the most positive person. The plan I have for you is so great. It went on and on and on. And when I woke up, like, I knew that God had been speaking to me. Oh, I knew that. This is, this is too much to process. That's <laughs> <laughs> I knew that it was. Because, because my question is like, let's say, let's say he came into your dream while you were alcoholic. What if it wasn't God? I mean, what if it was your own subconscious mind or because you were thinking a lot about ideas in your head? Maybe it was something else. I don't know. I'm, I'm not going to say the devil, but what if it Well, was I can mind? promise you that nothing in my subconscious, nothing in my life was telling me that I was positive, that I, God had a plan for me because um, I believed um, that I was, I mean, I was a mess. I was depressed. I was completely addicted to alcohol. Um, I don't believe in labels like that, but I was completely addicted to alcohol. And nothing in my mind, my mind was telling me it's too late. You've messed up too much. Those are all the things the enemy wants you to believe. You can call it the devil, the enemy, darkness. Um, that's what the way I was thinking was that was the enemy's way. God was reminding me of who I was. He saw beneath the mess and was reminding me of who I was. And now I get to remind other people who they are. You know, when we know who we are, when we know that we are not our problem, we are not our circumstance. We are not our past. That we really can um, move forward. That God can take all of our mess and turn it into a masterpiece. It's the beginning of change. Wow. I mean, I still cannot believe that with one dream, you can just stop just like that drinking and <laughs> coach, motivational speaker. I mean, well, wow. why yeah, really? it is a wow. Like, oh, I congratulate you. I mean, it's amazing. That's well, thank you. Too, because you're a coach and like saying what you're saying with so much courage and coming forward. I want to know, I mean, how did it happen? I mean, one day you woke up like after the dream. Okay, I'm going to stop drinking. That's what you well, did. Well, I think that was God's plan. Yes. However, I still had so much mess inside that it took me about a year. It took me over a year to get my life on track and that um well and when i got my life on track i didn't start out being a coach the next day you know it was never my plan it was never my plan to you know write this book change your story because i share all the secrets i worked so hard to keep you know no one knew my problems i kept everything a secret and so i was like i don't want to write this book nope i mean nobody knows why would i tell people now and what i learned along my journey is it is not about me. You know, God saved me to use me so I can help others. And so it's not about me. So if it's something I can share, help someone else get their story on track sooner than I did, well, then that's what I'm here for. So back to your other question, you know, it was not an instant change for me. Can that happen? Sure. It's not my story, unfortunately. Um, but it set me on a journey. So throughout the next year, I read countless psychology books. I studied the work of world-renowned psychologists, psychiatrists, pastors, thought leaders. I um, wrote like crazy, asking myself question after question. You know, if you ask why enough times, you will get to the root of your issues. You know, we have to deal to heal. But then we have to move forward. Um, I also listened to po would listen to positive music just blaring in my ears every night as I slept. And I didn't realize it at the time, but everything I was doing was rewiring my brain. And my acting background proved to be a tremendous asset in my breakthrough because, you know, I broke down my life like an actor breaks down a scene. So, you know, whether you are trying to break free from a life-controlling issue 
or just want to get your relationship, your career to the next level or make better decision, you know, it all begins with retraining our brain and getting rid of the lies so you can replace them with the truth. Wow. It's amazing. I mean, you have so much strength and I hope that the audience is getting a lot of ideas from so. you as am I too. Uh, but I want to talk about also the taboo, let's say, of coaches. I mean, the world of coaches. Mm -hmm. People, most people don't know about coaches, and others who know about coaches, they think that coaches are only for privileged people or people who have uh, power. They have to have coaches right. who have issues or people who are like having a lot of problems and they need to go uh, to coaches, and they usually. Mm -hmm confused between coaches and psychologists so yeah. do coaches are out there only for privileged people and if not what is your advice and your own opinion being no, it's a coach it's a great question um well very successful people know that blind spots and blind spots are characteristics or mindsets that we don't see about ourselves. Well, they know that these are in the, that they will be their weaknesses. They'll, they won't get to the next level when they have those in their life. Well, so they get a coach. People who are down and out, who have problems, um, they know that something's in their way too. And so they get that coach so they can get to the next level. When you don't fit into the, one or those two categories, sometimes you can fall into a status quo mentality, is what I call it. And you can just think that, you know, you're not like this, you're not like that, so you're okay, you're fine. And you just keep on going in life, you just stay busy without identifying things that are really keeping you from being happier, from living more fulfilled, for taking the jobs you actually want. Or pursuing the relationship you actually want, you know, all these things, um, alcohol, drugs, um, busyness, there's a multitude of things. They are really just um, numbing what we really are desiring and they keep us from dealing. And so everyone can benefit from a coach. And I think everyone really wants to um, live a better life. They're just not sure how. And so it starts with believing that you are, you know, worth that and that there is, no matter how great you are now, you can get, you can get better. We haven't even begun to reach our potential. There's so much that we don't know that we've figured out. I mean, my goal is to live. I want to get rid of everything in my way and just be the best possible version of me. And I want to help others do the same. I'm privileged to get to do that. But let's say people are going to decide to have Kirsten Lee as their coach. What do you offer as a coach and what makes you unique? I mean, I know you're unique. And as you said, all of <laughs> I us thank you. We agree. There is no disagreement there. <laughs> but, I mean, apart from other coaches, mm -hmm. what kind of people should approach Kirsten? As um, a great question. Um, one, I don't believe addictions are permanent. Mm -hmm. I believe they are a distraction to our destiny. You know, I don't believe in putting people in categories or labels. You know, a lot of, most of the recovery organizations, they focus on the past and your feelings and your emotions, where a lot of the recovery coaches, they focus on goals and moving forward. Well, the truth is, it takes both of those things. You know, I just developed, you mentioned it earlier, the Change Your Story workshop, um, the curriculum for it. I just got in the mail yesterday. I'm so excited. Oh, I know. Thank you. Thank you. So we're going to be launching soon. And it is honestly, it is an eight week workshop that is a strategic conglomeration of what took me years to discover. You know, we have to, if we don't learn from the battles behind us, we won't see the ones in front of us. So, you know, we have to deal with our past, um, identify, you know, our why, why we've done what we've done. But once we've done that, it's time to move forward, you know, with purpose. And a lot of times um, people stay in that recovery mode and they don't get to that discovery mode. Mm. And so I combine both of those things. And um, as far as if they choose me, you know, it is so important it's hard to pick the right coach. You need to pick one that specializes in things that you're struggling with or that um, you want to just excel in. 
and you want um, someone that you feel comfortable with, but that also challenges you. You know, you don't want them to be just like you. And for me, it's really important that I am the best fit for a client. I just, I don't take on every client that comes to me. Um, I schedule an initial free complimentary um, meeting. Um, sometimes we do it on Zoom. And so I can get to know the person and they can express their goals and their expectations um, as well as their budget. Mm -hmm. You know, I never want um, money to be the reason that people don't get the breakthrough they deserve. It's amazing. You know, we have to now say to our audience when I come to three, that if Kirsten Lee did it, it yep. means you, you can, can do, do it. it. Yes. Yes. Amazing. Yes. Amazing. I love it. So what is your tip as Kirsten Lee, the coach, the best-selling author, but as most of all, for me, it's very important as a coach all the way from Los Angeles, who had all these problems and faced and she had the strength and the bravery to stand back on her feet. What is the tip or the advice that you give to our wonderful audience today? Great question. You're, you're just amazing yourself, by the way. Don't let where you are become who you are and where you are can be a state of mind or it can be an actual place, but um, don't let where you are become who you are. Believe that there is a plan for your life because there is, you know, but you have to fight for that. You know, reach out, um, let me know how I can help you change your story um, because, you know, I believe that it is time for everyone to have their breakthrough. Wow, amazing. It was so amazing to have you with us and, and share your story with, the audience and it's the first episode of my show you can do it I'm honor yes, thank you the honor is all mine and i'm sure that the audience are uh, getting a lot of inspiration from you and uh, i would like to tell everyone and uh, that they are going to see your website Hello. wonderful with, with yes the video i'm gonna put it there and also if they have any comments any suggestions below they can put it below and if you want to know more about Kirsten Lee, you can just go and check her website. And thank you so much for being with us today. And guys, you can do you it. You can do it. <laughs> Bye. See you Bye. next time.